Hello, this is Neil LeBute for Trailers from Hell. We've got a delicious foreign film offering for you today, Francois Truffaut's Day for Night. I think this is one that, uh, if you don't know it, you should know it. If you know it already, you love it, and you'll want to hear me talk about it again. So Francois Truffaut was at the height of his success probably at this time. He had emerged as early as 1959 with 400 blows, and he'd had a string of successes after that. And uh, it was inevitable that at some point he would make a film, probably 10 years after the definitive film about filmmaking that came out of Europe, Contempt, uh, or Le Mapri, by Godard. Truffaut made a film of his own about the difficulties, the travails of making movies. And out of it came Day for Night, which is a film that won the Academy Award uh, for Best Foreign Film. Interestingly, the film was nominated in two separate years for Academy Awards. It won the uh, award for Best Foreign Film in 1973, but in 1974, the film was nominated further for Best Supporting Actress, Director, and Screenplay. And this was due to, to different eligibility deadlines. I'm sorry. I'm so ashamed of all this. No, don't worry. I'll be all right. Just be patient with me, please. I know. It's not very professional of me. Everybody's waiting for me. I've never done this before. It's not important, Julie. We can wait a bit, really. I'm going to talk to Jean-Francois, and the shooting schedule can be rearranged. It's a film that stars Jacqueline Bisset, might be the most recognizable actor in the piece. Truffaut favorites, Jean-Pierre Laude, who is his Antoine Doinel, and in six or seven films that Truffaut, and in virtually all of the new wave films of the 60s and 70s, important ones anyway, and Bertolucci's Last Tango in Paris. He plays the young lead here. I found out something, Julie. I discovered a really hideous fact. You can love someone. You can be crazy in love, and at the same time hate, despise all that she does, her spirit, not mine. It's a film within a film that Truffaut himself takes the lead role. Well, it's an ensemble piece, but he takes the lead role of the director, a man who wears a, a hearing aid, and he says, uh, the director, kind of famously in the picture, he says, the director is a person who is asked a lot of questions, some answers he happens to know. He has a great sequence in the film where he is trying to walk from one set to another in a long, unbroken take, where people just keep coming up to him and asking him various questions about guns, colors of curtains, and it's a very entertaining and truthful scene about the way in which movies get put together. A young Natalie Baye is in the film, who went on to star in, in a slew of French films, and other famous actors are in the piece. He uses music from his earlier films, Two English Girls by uh, Georges Delarue. It's a film that, if you love movies, it's a great way to see how movies are put together and still be entertained at the same time. Mm -hmm.